So I want to show the steps for setting up a rubric to use for grading assignments in Moodle. So I'm going to add an assignment activity. And uh, just call it rubric example. You won't bother with any of these other settings, but when I go down here under grade, change the grading method from simple direct grading to rubric. And now if I click save and display, Moodle will create the assignment and realize that there's no rubric attached to it. So uh, it will ask me to either go to some template and uh, modify that for the rubric for this assignment or create a rubric from scratch, which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, with the rubric, you basically um, are, are able to set up a variety of criteria and then the levels for each of those criteria and the points associated with that. You can add criteria as many as you want. You can add as many levels or as few levels within a criterion as you want. and um, provide whatever point values you want for that. So for example, um, since we're writing, I might um, have a thesis statement as a criterion and um, you would have some description in this case what, um, what an excellent uh, thesis statement Whatever um, good thesis statement would have these characteristics, and a poor thesis statement would have these characteristics. And maybe you want to um, get five points for an excellent uh, thesis statement, and four points for a good one two points for a poor one. You can add other criteria, you know, such as organization, and have, again, as many levels as you want. Uh, maybe you want the maximum level on this criterion to be 10. And again, Ideally, with a rubric, you would actually specify a narrative describing these different levels. I'm not going to bother for the purposes of this, this video here. And you can have some criteria that are just even kind of yes-no kind of criteria. So you can delete uh, levels for your criterion. Um, yes, you get two points. No, you get zero points. Maybe this is uh, proper citation style. And so forth. You can have as many of these criteria as you want. Essentially what will happen is when you are looking at the submitted papers, in this case, uh, you don't have to, um, all you have to do is read through the paper and then just click the different levels of the rubric that correspond to the quality of the paper. And um, basically Moodle will scale all of those um, point values for the individual criteria uh, to come up with uh, whatever percentage of the total point value is. So if this is a 50, paint, 50 point assignment, we basically have 10 points here and five points and two, so that's 17. So if a student did excellent on everything, they'd get 17 out of 17 times 50 with 50 points. But if they get <coughs> good and middling and, uh, and yes here, they could get you know, 12 out of the 17 points, so they would get 12 
divided by 17 times 50 for their uh, score on the paper. So it gives you, you know, more uh, specific criteria you can use to judge the paper against and gives the student an idea of uh, why they got the grade that they got on the paper rather than me just saying, well, out of the 50 point paper, uh, out of 15 point, 50 point total, this is a um, C paper, so I'm going to give you 36 points, something like that. Save the rubric and make it ready, and then you are set to go.